Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today, I will show you how to make this logo starting from a sketch. And I will show you how to trace and digitize this sketch, and also, I will show you how to add the gradient to it to design the logo. So, make sure to watch to the end of the video, and don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ask about anything in the comments section. Have a nice watching. Go to File, Place, click and drag to place the sketch. OK, let's rotate a little. Perfect. Decrease the opacity to 50%. OK. Go to Object lock selection now the sketch is locked let's digitize it to make smooth curves i will select the curvature tool hold down the space bar to activate the hand tool to move the artboard hold down the alt key then click here and here and here and here. Close the shape. Now, click and drag to make the curves. Always try to align the curves with the sketch. OK. Click here, and here. Drag to make a curve. Right click, join. Drag to make the upper curve. Perfect. Now repeat the process. Perfect. Using the same technique, with the curvature tool, I will make the other curves. Perfect. Now select all. Hold down the Alt key then click and drag. This is our logo outline. 
Now, go to the Layers panel. Find the linked file. Hide the sketch. Now let's add the gradient. Select all, then go to the eyedropper tool, and pick the gradient. Perfect. I think this part here is not balanced. Go to the knife tool. Hold down the Alt key then click and drag to separate. Select and delete. Select these parts. Go to Object, Transform, Reflect. Click on Copy. With the left arrow, move to the left to align with the original object. OK. Zoom in to see if they are perfectly aligned. Perfect. Select them. Now, go to the Pathfinder tool. Click on Unite. Perfect. Let's move the head to the left a little. OK. Now our logo looks more balanced. Let's add another gradient to get some depth. Again with the curvature tool. Click here. And here. Click and drag to make the curves. Hold down the ALT key then click. Click join to close the shape. Select the new shape. Get the eyedropper tool and pick this gradient. Select the two shapes and get the shape builder tool. Hold down the alt key then click to cut off this part. Perfect. Now, click on opacity, and change the blending mode to multiply. OK. Now, repeat the process to make other gradients.
Okay. This is all for today. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ask about anything in the comments section. Thanks for watching, stay creative.